Al Hassam, everybody. Al Hassam. Keep it going. Yeah, Brad, did you say brown power? Yeah. Keep it going for Marlo. Yeah. Yeah. 15 comics, five minutes between each set. That's perfect, Marlo. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I actually, I had a great weekend. Um, I went to a wedding this weekend. Anybody been to a wedding recently? Five applause. Woo! Yeah. I uh, went to this wedding. I don't think it's going to work out because when the groom was asked, do you take this woman? He shouted out, who hasn't? Yeah. So you were in Harold and Kumar too, eh? Yeah. Yeah, cool. That was a big hit, wasn't it? You don't know if it was a big hit? I didn't actually see it myself. I saw Star Trek. with all my friends. Nice. Nice. Perfect. I saw Star Trek. Did you see Star Trek? Yeah. Uh, what'd you think of it? You like? Yeah, I agree with you. It's, you know what? It was the scariest movie I've ever seen. Because here's, here's the thing, if you haven't seen Star Trek, it's based in the future, and there's not one fucking East Indian out there. Right? I'm like, what the hell is going on? They got space pubs. Who's driving these guys home, right? You know? And just to throw it in my face, they let the Chinese guy fly the ship. I'm like, holy shit, fuck. Yeah, I'm like, wow. The other day, I was actually walking up the street, and uh, this guy comes to me and goes, hey, do you have 50 cents for a cup of coffee? I'm like, 50 cents for a cup of coffee? I'll go with you. Fuck, coffee's expensive. <laughs> I, uh, you hear the weirdest thing that happened to me with homeless people was uh, last winter, right after Christmas. We were walking up an alleyway to my place to have a drink, and I saw three homeless people having sex, and I freaked out. <laughs> Yeah, and my friend's like, well, why are you freaking out? They're human, they're allowed to have sex. I'm like, it's not that. And he's like, well, that's how they keep warm. I said, thanks for the info, but it's not that. So he's like, what's got you so worked up? I'm like, well, fuck, look, the homeless guy's having a threesome. I've never had a freaking threesome, you know? <laughs> I'm upset. Uh, and I thought to myself, could you imagine me living in a trailer park? Because I have to keep my culture yet fitted to theirs. For example, I have to change my name to Billy Bob Binder. Right? And, and we'd have cool dinner parties, right? Because I'd have like spam samosas for uh, appetizers. Um, we'd have like Twinkie Masala pudding as a dessert. You know, of course the entree roadkill curry with white bread. Then we'd end the night with a friendly uh, game of pin the tail on the cabbie. I figure if I lived there long enough, I would end up dating one of the girls in the neighborhood. And I would know she hit her orgasm because she would shout out, bingo. <laughs> I think honesty is the best policy, right? And here's what happened to me. A few months ago, my girlfriend bought this outfit, and she said, Al, do I look like a fat pig in this? So I'm single now. No, <laughs> no that's not what happened. I said, no, dear, you don't look like a pig, right? I said, besides, if you're a pig, I couldn't date you because as a Muslim, I'm not allowed to eat pork. I'm not a very good Muslim, though. My parents threw right from the get-go I wasn't a good Muslim because as a child, I was in love with Miss Piggy, right? But, um... But it was weird talking about marriage, though, because she would always say, you're the only one for me. I'm like multiple wives. I'd be like, well, you're number one for now, right? <laughs> yeah. Things didn't work out, though, because she ended up having an affair. I tried the internet dating thing. Anybody else here try the internet dating thing? Woo! Five plus, yeah? Yeah, I just couldn't date single moms. That was my problem. Um, I uh, once dated a senior. Oh, my God, it was so cool, because uh, she picked me up after a show, because she came up to me after a show, and she goes, I think you're funny, and I think you're cute. And I said, well, I like older women myself. And she said, is it because we're more mature in bed? I said, no, it's because I can't get you pregnant, right? <laughs> I said, besides, your experience would be good in bed because you could be shouting, who's your granny? Who's your granny, right? I'd be like, you're not. How about that gummer? <coughs> oh, I'll leave you on a grunner. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Al Hassan, everybody. Al Hassan.